What's up everybody? Today we have the Air Jordan Retro 3 Instinct. This shoe is absolutely amazing, so let's go ahead and get right into the unboxing and review. These came from Nike.com. They were $225. They sold pretty well, but they seem to have a couple pairs of 10s and 11s left over, so I decided to grab a pair. Getting right into it, the upper for the shoe is made from what Nike says on their website, faux fur texture is applied to the upper is what they're saying. But if you look in the insole, there's a little sticker that says it's made out of dyed adult bovine from Brazil. And bovine is like cattle or calf. So you be the judge about that. I'm pretty much okay with it, I guess. I mean, it, it still seems to me like it's fake fur. But anyway, these came out on December 19th. And prior to these shoes releasing, there's been the Atmos collab, which I thought was pretty cool. And the LeBron 16, I think. Um, and I think that was more of like a safari pattern they put on LeBron, but it was a really nice shoe. And they made OBJ a custom as well with some type of similar type of prints on them. They come packaged with the Just Do It sticker from Nike on it, but the box that the shoes are inside of are amazing. Um, I think some of the newer Jordans are coming in this box. I really love it. It shows Jordan and some of the designs previously. I think it's a nice touch, so they got to keep that up. Even the lace marks even have what appears to be bite marks on them, which is another little nice touch and close attention to detail type of thing. Around the toe cap, you can see they put some type of leopard print around there. I think that looks awesome. I can't tell you how long these will last over time, but they look great, so... Moving up to the tongue, which appears to be satin, you have the classic red Jordan sitting on there. I think the red accenting executed on the shoe is what really made the shoe stand out, in my opinion. The back heel has the classic Jordan tab that is almost translucent, which I think is another thing that they executed well on the shoe. I love gun bottoms, and it kind of looks like a gummy type of back panel. It, this is another thing that was executed perfectly. They put on some type of zebra faux fur for you right there, which looks again amazing. They've got a print resembling the tiger. And again, they have those semi-translucent looking lace eyelets right there. Executed really well once again. Got the white jump man on the insoles. Standard visible air soles. Quick peek at the sizing tag. Just to remind you, these are the Jordan 3 Retro Instincts. They say Instinct on both of the tongues, left and right shoe. This is the bottom of the sneaker, and wanted to give you a quick look at that before I get them dirty with the on feet segment, which we should get into right now. my favorite part the on feet and if you made it this far go ahead and thumbs up the video and consider subscribing please um, this part's always a little embarrassing but it is fun because I get to go out and actually wear the shoes the hardest part is not actually wearing the shoes until I've done the unboxing segment and then I go ahead and put them on my feet and walk around and take some shots and kind of look crazy out there but it's okay because I'm doing it for you guys you don't have to spend the 225 on this you can just watch the video right so the on feet, let's get into the on feet. First of all, these Jordan 3s are more comfortable than any other Jordan 3 that I've worn. I, I've, I've recently worn the Mochas, and those are good, um, but the Black Sea Mints, they sort of pinch my right baby toe for some reason, and some other Jordans and Nikes do this. But this pair particularly does not hurt my feet at a size 10, which is true to my size. And I think it's because of the upper materials being made of that faux fur or whatever it is it's just a little bit more soft around the toe box area so i got on basic khaki color joggers and red socks that i found on amazon it's really hard to find red socks believe it or not i'll go ahead and link them down below in the description i noticed one thing as i was wearing these i was kind of wondering what would happen if water would get on them or you you'd spill something sticky on these how do you clean them would those cleaning solutions out there like rejuvenator or something like that get them cleaned up like i'm not sure how you would clean them so we'll see we'll have to see how that goes 
There also could be some styling challenges with these shoes, with the colors being a little crazy. You can get away again with probably tan pants, black pants, even white pants. I'm not sure about blue pants, but anything in the grays, you'll be safe with these. What you wear, like for your shirt or a jacket, um, any plain colors will probably get you by with these. So I think they're easy to style, but the average person would have to get over them being made out of animal print and being animal print to probably put them on their feet in the first place. So that's it, guys. They're dope. I bought them. I'll be wearing them probably in some vlog episodes down the line. I mean, I think they're really cool shoes. They were on the fence type of shoe for everybody because of the pricing being at 225 for such a wild design, but you know, to each his own. So go ahead and like and subscribe. Got some more footwear videos coming down the line. I also um, review unauthorized authentic sneakers, so check those videos out as well. Peace. Happy New Year. Take care, guys.